find the value of pronumeral in following. Okay, in this one we have to find the value of A, we have to find the value of B, we have to find the value of A, we have to find the value of A, X, and so on and so forth. So, first one first. To find the value of A, we can simply try to get rid of this number here. And to do that, we can subtract 30 from this side of the equation. And we, when we do that, we have to subtract 30 from this side of the equation as well. So these two will cancel out. A is to stand alone now. 60 minus 30 is equal to 30. Uh, so the value of A is equal to 30. We can check our answer. We can replace the value of A here. 30 plus 30, it is equal to 60. So our answer is right. Same deal here. We'll try to get rid of this number here. And we can subtract 20 from this side of the equation. And when we do that, uh, we have to subtract 20 from this side of the equation as well. So these two will cancel out. 50 minus 20 is equal to 30. The value of B is equal to 30. We can check our answer by replacing the value of B in the equation. So the value of B was 30 plus 20. It is equal to 50. So our answer is right. Now this one is negative 30. So to get rid of this number here, we can add 30 on this side of the equation. And when we do that, we have to add 30 on this side of the equation as well. So negative 30 and plus 30 will cancel out. 60 plus 30 is equal to 90. Value of A is equal to 90 here. And we can check our answer by replacing the value of A in this equation. So 90 minus 30 is equal to 60. Our answer is right. Now this one is uh, a bit more difficult. Value of uh, we have to find out the value of 2a first, and then the value of a. So we'll try to get rid of this 30 here, minus 30, and minus 30 on this side. These two will cancel out. 80 minus 30 is equal to 50. So the value of 2a is equal to 50. And now we have to find the value of a. So we can simply divide both sides of the equation by 2 to get rid of this 2 here. So these 2 will cancel out. 2 times 1 is 2. 2 times 25 is 50. And the value of A is equal to 25. And we can replace the value of A in this equation to find out if the answer is correct or not. So 2 times 25 plus 30 should be equal to 80. Uh, 25 times 2 is 50 plus 30 it is equal to 80. So the value of A here is 25. This one. So we can subtract 20 from both sides of the equation to get rid of this number here. 3B is equal to 60 minus 20 is equal to 40. It is equal to 40. Now we have to get rid of 3. We can divide both sides of the equation by 3. So 3 will cross off. B is equal to 40 over 3. As simple as that. This one we can add 30 and add 30 here. So these two will cancel out. 95 plus 30 is equal to 125. The value of x is equal to 125. 6a plus 10 is equal to 60. So we can subtract 10 from both sides of the equation. 10 will cancel out. This is 50. 6a is equal to 50. Now we'll get rid of 6 by dividing uh, both sides of the equation by 6. a is equal to 50 over 6. b plus 20 is equal to 90. We can subtract 20 from both sides of the equation. These two will cancel out. 90 minus 20 is equal to 70. The value of b is equal to 70. We can, we can add 17 on both sides of the equation. Add 17 here as well. These will cancel out. B is equal to 7 plus 4 is 11. 5 and 6. So value of B is equal to, value of B is equal to 61. Thank you.